been in the military. I worked for the railroad. I've been a cop now for about eight years, and this is by far the one job that, I mean, I don't want to say it if my command staff's listening to the city, but I do it for free, you know, almost. It's Cedar Park police officer well, Nick Anderson uh, said there was never a doubt that this is what he wanted to do. You take it for what it's worth, and I think they know that I'm going to continue doing what's going to make me happy. And, I mean, helping people is absolutely what makes makes me happy with this job. But says the job and life outside the job has changed since he got shot. The time since I've been out of the hospital has been a lot of recovery, a lot of physical therapy. Anderson was shot in the arm when responding to a call for service. The bone itself was shattered in 16 different spots. He underwent surgery, but says now he still only has limited mobility. It's still about 60, 40% chance that it's ever actually going to heal enough for me to get back to full duty. Anderson says everything seemed normal about the call at first, but it was when he and his fellow officers began a forced entry into the home is when Joseph Deshaun Taylor began shooting at them. Imagine just trying to go help somebody and next thing you know, you and your, your friends are shot. I mean, it's, it's a horrible feeling. He said a million things go through your mind when something like that happens. You know, your life flashes before your eyes and you do, at least for me, you know, you think about a million things all at once. And the only thing uh, I could think about personally was I'm not going to die in the house and I'm going to get out and be able to see my, my friends and my family again. Taylor held law enforcement to a nearly 16 hour hostage situation, barricading himself, his mother and his two siblings inside the home. He's been charged with three counts of aggravated assault on a public officer and three charges of kidnapping. For Anderson, he says the past few months have been an adjustment, one of the biggest with his family. You know, it's no longer dad wrestling and uh, playing playing like we used to. It's a lot of questions. Daddy, when's your arm's gonna, arm going to get better? Saying when his oldest son saw him in his uniform for the first time, he was concerned. And his first thing out of his mouth was, are you going to get shot again? Um, you know, that's a pretty hard question to try to answer from a five-year-old. But says it's not something that doesn't cross his mind. Well, you're always going to have that that thought about, you know, is this going to be another shots fired incident? Is this going to be where it's at? Adding if it wasn't for his family and the community, he wouldn't have the motivation to come back. It's been pretty phenomenal. I mean, the support that they've been giving.